Hello friends, this is Natasha from YMO Homeschool. Today I'm going to give you a look through the Easy Peasy Math Step 1 Workbook and Parent's Guide. This is for middle school. So there's three steps in the middle school Easy Peasy Math program. They have Getting Ready 1 and 2, which is preschool and kindergarten. Then they have Levels 1, 2, 3, and 4. Then it jumps to Middle School Math Step 1, 2, 3 which puts them in algebra in eighth grade. So essentially middle school math step one would be appropriate for fifth grade. That's the way it's designed if you were to follow easy peasy math from the beginning. However, I'm actually using this with my seventh grader. And I think this particular step, this step one, is actually perfect for um, reviewing any concepts, basic concepts like multiplication and division and fractions and decimals and all of that. So, well, I'll just go ahead and read it. It says basic operations with integers, fractions, decimals, number properties, proportions, rates, exponents, and radicals. So this covers quite a lot. And I feel like after they've done this, they are prepared for a pre-algebra program. So um, that means my daughter will likely do pre-algebra next year and then move into algebra in ninth grade. So I think this is per perfectly appropriate to do in any of the middle school grades. Okay, so let me show you what the teacher's book looks like. Okay, lesson one. So you can see it has a copy of the student pages with the answers and then it has notes here for the parent. Okay, um, actually, I'm going to go back. I'm sorry. I'm going to go back again. And it says here, I'm going to read this. If you have used other EP parent guides, you'll notice that this one is a bit different. The step one math workbook has writ was written with the lesson and examples right on the workbook page so that they can work independently. You'll see that in a moment. This book is set up with a lesson page with a picture of the answer pages right on the parent's guide instructions for that day. I do suggest you read the parent's guide as your child goes through the course. You may find that it helps you remember these topics and keep you fresh so that you will be able to help when your child is stuck. The parent's guide will give you some different approaches to problems and show the setup for word problems as well as give a few little notes. This book offers support for you and for the child that's stuck on something. Step one is a different kind of course in EP. It doesn't have 180 days. There are 137 lessons here divided into sections. That's done because some kids will move slowly through the book while others will move more quickly. I didn't want to constrain them to a set number of days. Okay, so I mainly wanted to read that portion to you. So there's only 137 lessons in this book, which is fabulous for us because we don't do 180 at home school days a year. So when I have a curriculum that has 180 lessons, that means we're doubling up and on some lessons every week. And I don't love that. <laughs> so I really do appreciate that this only has 137 lessons. So we can just do one lesson a day. Anyway, as you can see, answers and just a little information. That's how every day is set up. I basically use this every single day. This is very valuable. I definitely recommend getting the parent guide. So that's what that looks like. Then I have the actual step one workbook. Okay. And it says the solutions are on the website as well as the parent's guide and are not included in this workbook. This course is available completely free online on allinonehomeschool.com. You do not have to purchase these workbooks. You can do the entire course completely free online. The course online uses Khan Academy videos. So what I like to do, if my daughter does happen to get stuck on one of these topics, I can go to the same lesson on the Easy Peasy website and pull up the Khan Academy video for it. So you can use these. Uh, most of the time she does this without the Khan, Khan Academy videos. However, we have pulled that up a few times and that's been very helpful. So these lessons match exactly with the Khan Academy. However, the workbook gives a lot more practice than the Khan Academy does. So if you have a student who needs a lot more practice, definitely get the workbook. Okay, so it starts off with addition and subtraction and there are 15 lessons covering that. So it starts at the beginning with basic addition. 
And there's 15 lessons covering that, so your student can work very quickly through that. Then there's multiplication and division, which is 17 lessons. Number properties, 10 lessons on those. Factors and multiples, 10 lessons. And then fractions. You'll notice here we get into the good stuff. There's a lot more lessons on fractions. There are 35 in fractions. Then fractions, decimals, and percents, there are 29. So as you can see, those fractions and decimals, those always seem to um, be a problem area for students sometimes. Those have quite a bit of lessons in them. And then ratios and, ex and proportions, I'm sorry, 17 lessons, and then exponents, only four lessons. Okay, and so here's what a lesson looks like. Now, I'm not going to show you all of her work exactly, so I'm trying to flip to somewhere she hasn't done. But um, as you can see, there's no color, but that's okay. Um, this is a fractions lesson. This is lesson four in fractions, so you can always tell what section you're in by going down there to the right-hand corner. And it tells you, the student, exactly how to solve these problems right in the workbook. So there's not a separate thing that they have to read. It's all right here included. Okay, and it has some examples. And then it gives them this day's word problems, obviously. And then the back, okay? So every single lesson is one page front and back, every one. Now in Khan Academy, if you get like the first five correct or something like that, you're done with the lesson. So this, like I said, offers a lot more practice, which is really beneficial. Now sometimes this does seem like, um, sometimes it seems like a lot of work. Some lessons, like um, maybe, maybe this one seems a little bit long, but um, so a few of the lessons we've done have seemed a little bit longer. And so I will, not that they're longer in, I mean, they're all front and back, but just the amount of questions that are on one page or if it's a, a topic that is a little bit more difficult, we will just do one side one day and the other side the next day. And since there is a, only 137 lessons in this, it's really easy to be able to do that and not feel like, you know, oh, we're getting behind. So... There are cute little graphics and things, but this is just, um, you know, math. Not, not color, but good instruction, simple instruction. So it's, you know, you don't see pages and pages of instruction. It just lists steps on how to do this, right? So I'll jump, I'll get out of fractions for a minute. I'll go to fractions, decimals, and percents. Ratios and proportions. Again, just really simple introduction or um, explanations on how to do these things. You will see that there is quite a few word problems, like the word problem day. These are the types of days where we would just do one side one day. Um, my daughter does not love word problems, so all of these word problems in one day, that would overwhelm her. So we would just do one side one day, the other side the next day. But it's very clear and, and the font is nice. I really do like this. This has been working very well for us. I think it's exactly what my daughter needed. Um, this particular daughter does have learning disabilities in both reading and math. And so this has been very beneficial to her. Um, I, I believe these books, you can see how thick it is here. And the parent's guide is a lot thinner. Um, I, I want to say that these are about $20 together. I, I might be wrong. I don't remember. But you can purchase them right off Amazon. And they're really easy to purchase. And again, you can use this course completely for free on allinonehomeschool.com, but I do, for this specific course, really prefer the workbook. I, I've had another daughter, my now 10th grader, um, she had used the easy peasy step one math um, when she was in middle school and she did it on the computer because there was no workbooks available. Having done both, I definitely prefer the workbooks. Anyway. So, if you have any questions about these, let me know, but I hope that kind of gives you an idea of what these look like and how they're to be used. Thanks for watching.